Hello folks, welcome to DCS World. We are in the Apache today, checking out the new Germany map in the big screen beyond version 2 and I'm going to give you my sort of updated thoughts and opinions on it now that I've used it for quite a while. So with that being said, let's get cracking. Alright, steady as she goes. <laughs> So this new map is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at the detail here. Really this showcases what DCS World can do in 2025 in terms of detail. It's spectacular, it really is. And we're getting 75 frames per second at 75 hertz at the moment. I'll just um, I haven't got the FPS counter on, I've forgotten, but I'll put it on in a minute. But yeah, this is spectacular stuff. And what is the big screen beyond version 2 like? Now that I've used it for quite a number of weeks, in fact, it's probably getting on two months now, you know. So let's have a talk about all this stuff whilst enjoying these spectacular views. Wow. Look at this. Oh, and hang on. No, I, I didn't forget to put my FPS counter on. That's it there, look, see? 75 frames per second. Hopefully you can see that. 75 frames per second over a absolutely beautiful, highly detailed map. Oh. So I'll have a link in the description below of this map. Go check it out, guys, especially if you're a DCS world purist I would highly recommend this even if you're not really into combat just flying around this is enough really just to impress you there's so much to see with all these trees of course I am using an RTX 5090 with the big screen beyond at full native resolution MSAA mode so what do I feel how is the big screen beyond version 2 how's it shaping up well, there's not a lot about it that I don't like, really. It really is an astonishing little VR headset. And funny enough, in pretty much most of my comparisons that I've made, that is the Megan X and the Pimax Crystal uh, Lite, sorry, not the Super, it completely wins against them for value for money, great optics, brilliant warping profile, micro OLED visuals, amazing form factor. It really ticks a lot of boxes and it looks so frigging good in this thing. It really does. It looks so amazing. Now in my opinion, DCS World is starting to make MSFS look a bit silly <laughs> in some crucial areas. That is performance, especially performance. I just think DCS World runs so much better in VR and it looks sharper as well in VR. I don't know why, but it just does. And this little headset is really impressing me. Like, what astonishes me about the big screen beyond version 2 is not only is it the lightest VR headset known to man, it really doesn't skimp out on the really important things that is field of view i'm actually getting a true 108 degrees horizontal with this thing that is really impressive that's way better than say the pimax crystal light which is a herculean headset it's a massive headset on your head not to mention you get a lower threshold for your performance because this can handle a very nice 75 Hertz which is very comfortable in the big screen beyond it kind of feels like 90 Hertz with a normal LCD headset and what that means is well you've just saved yourself some performance and whether you've got a 5090 or a 4070 or even an AMD based GPU because this does support it you're going to have a great time with this headset. Oh, look at this. There is a train there. That is awesome. 
There's something about seeing a train in a flight sim that's just, just cool. Let's have a look around here. I'm trying to do the views as well at the same time. Oh, look at that. And it's a, it's a region specific train as well. I've seen them actually on my travels around Europe. I can't quite believe how smooth this is, by the way, folks. I'm not gonna say it because I know I've said it a lot. I'll just say it once, okay? The 5090 is an unbelievable GPU for VR. It friggin' well is. I absolutely love it. I won't say any more. So let's have a look at some of these buildings here. I'm not gonna take too long with this video, but I just wanted to showcase the detail here on offer. Look at this, and we're getting, again, 75 frames per second. And I'm recording in OBS as well. Wow, this is impressive stuff, wow. And I'll say it again, whether you're into combat or not, even if you use this as sort of like a civilian flight sim, this map is absolutely worth getting, it really is. I'm trying to not move my head around too much, but they will be movements on the VR mirror that's not you know shown in the headset oh there's power lines there <laughs> wow Just look at this this is stunning this is so good it's really impressive stuff look at the buildings here everything looks so incredibly detailed beautifully done performance is solid You really don't need eye tracking with a 5090 in DCS World, that's for sure. Look at all these buildings, wow. I do feel that the Big Screen Beyond team, they were absolutely right in keeping the same resolution. Because 2560 per eye is more than adequate. It is absolutely sharp enough. I've said this so many times now that this is plenty sharp enough it is stunning you don't really need more clarity right now especially you know paired with a 4090 4070 super it really does rock and the optics in this little headset are superb the sweet spot is so good Make no mistake, I am a huge fan of the Big Screen Beyond version 2. I don't know how they've done it because in essence it looks the same, the lenses look the same, it's even lighter than before, but yet there's a lot less glare, the field of view is gigantic for a headset of this size, and it runs really well, you've got micro OLED colours, I think this is probably the most relevant headset right now on the market for 2025. I really do. No mirror, of course, with these gorgeous displays. And look at these visuals again, guys. This is DCS World in 2025. I actually didn't think, I because this is my first impressions here of this map, I expected for this to crawl to its knees at say 30 frames per second, but nope, we are hitting 75 frames per second. It hasn't budged at all. I keep thinking, is this motion reprojection? But no, this is full on, pure, you know, native frames per second at the full refresh rate. And I just wanted to share a little bit of this with you today. And I am definitely gonna be showing more DCS World I can't believe the crazy detail here. Now the things that I'm not so keen on with the big screen beyond, well there's not really that many. In fact really it's only one and that is I'm not so keen on the silicon facial interface of this headset. On a hot day it can get a bit clammy in this thing because there's just no ventilation getting to your face, particularly your eyes. That's really my only main gripe of this headset. Oh. I think maybe it'd be nice to have a 90 hertz native option, but it's just not possible. 
but to be honest 75 uh, Hertz is absolutely fine anyway it's comfortable it really is <laughs> I can't believe this this oh I love VR so much I friggin do amazing look at that absolutely stunning and all of you out there that have used my affiliate link for the Big Screen Beyond version 2, a massive thank you for supporting the channel. It really means a lot. I am confident that you are in for a treat with this headset. You really are. I know there's been a bit of a delay, but to be honest, that's at Big Screen's cost because they basically identified a small minor issue with the circuit boards and they've scrapped thousands of them to restart production and also a massive shout out to big screen for footing the bill for the tariff situation in america because they're simply not passing on the cost to the consumer i suppose another negative could be that you don't have inside out tracking but come on folks this is a tiny headset to keep the form factor the way it is well, that's just, in my opinion, a minor gripe. And it actually, in some ways, it's a positive because you get better tracking. And you only need one base station for what I'm doing right here, that is flying, sat in a motion rig. That could be another reason why there's a lot of movement on the uh, VR image. Look how smooth this is. Oh my word. Oh, this is ace, absolutely ace. So guys, if you've not tried DCS World yet, where have you been? You are missing out big time. It is spectacular. And it's just getting better and better in 2025. I'll leave a link to the map in the notes below, as well as my affiliate link for the Big Screen Beyond version two if you haven't used it, and you're thinking about getting a Beyond and you'd like to support the channel, then feel free. But this is uh, just a quick video just basically saying that even after using this headset now for quite a while and with the you know new ones coming out like the super for instance this is a very formidable VR headset in 2025 and in my opinion it's a strong contender for the best PC VR headsets in 2025 as well look at that <laughs> fantastic Anyway, folks, that'll do for now. I'm going to continue enjoying checking out this map. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you again very soon. Take care. And from 75 frames per second at 75 hertz, with this detail, with trains all over the place, I'll bid you farewell. Take care and bye for now. See if I can do another pass. There's the trains there, look. Oh, hang on, I'm getting distracted. It's quite hard flying like this. I'm coming back round again. I feel like I'm dropping out the sky. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at this, guys. For a second pass in the Apache. Wowzers, that sounds so good with this audio as well. Does it get any better than this? I'm not so sure, to be honest. 